Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, what else is up there besides those little twinkling stars? Then come along with Curious George and let's find out. Outer space is really just the fancy name we call all the emptiness between the planets, stars, galaxies, asteroids, and everything else floating around outside of Earth's atmosphere. On our home planet of Earth, space begins about 60 miles up in the sky, where the atmosphere stops and space begins. People have always been curious about outer space, even back in caveman times, and probably way longer. Nowadays, scientists use telescopes to look at objects in space with way more detail than we can ever see just by looking up at the sky. And it turns out, there's all kinds of cool things to see. When we look up at the sky, all the stars seem like they're the same shade of yellow. But that's just because the light you're seeing is so dim. But when you look at them through a telescope, stars can actually be several different colors. Some are a deep crimson red, while others are a nice shade of icy blue. There are so many stars and planets floating around in our galaxy that scientists still aren't sure just how many there are. And that's not all curious eyes can see through a telescope. Asteroids made of rock or solid metal are also drifting around in space. Some can be no bigger than 10 yards, but the big ones can be more than 50 miles long. With all the planets speckled throughout the galaxy, there are plenty of moons out there too. Just in our own solar system, there are moons where hundreds of volcanoes are always erupting. Moons with raging toxic rivers and moons hiding giant oceans under miles of ice. And that's just the start. Space is huge and humans have only explored the tiniest bit of it. So, while outer space is mostly made up of a giant emptiness, there's still lots to explore and discover. Make sure to check out episodes of your favorite good little monkey, Curious George, always on Peacock Kids.